Hi, everyone, and a huge welcome to the second edition of the Headless Commerce Summit. Now, last year was incredible, with more than 3,000 people attending, and a wave of excitement about the advantages of taking e-commerce headless. Now, it was in the midst of the pandemic, and e-commerce was experiencing the same growth in 10 months that we have had in the 10 years prior to that. So uh, while it was absolutely exploding, online commerce hasn't just been rocked by higher sales volume. The way we go about creating these solutions have been uh, changing extremely rapidly as well. Now, the vast majority of retail professionals in a recent survey said that the crisis had accelerated their digital projects by years. In other words, we might have been working from home in our pajamas, but darn it if we haven't been busy. <laughs> so when it comes to commerce, no trend has been bigger than the shift to headless on Jamstack. And so why are we adapting headless commerce so quickly? Well, the short answer is because we can. <laughs> no, but with commerce being so important, of course, all focus is on how do we do it best? How can we decrease time to production, increase speed of uh, iteration, bring down load times and up conversions? And going headless just helps tremendously with all of that. Now, headless commerce falls under the Jamstack approach. You're splitting the transactional layer, and in some cases, the content layer from the actual web application. So in short, you're decoupling the commerce part from the website. And that just gives you so many advantages. Now, one of them is flexibility, and here there's several sides to that. With a traditional commerce solution, you're choosing not only the commerce tools, but also the template engine, the glue code, build tool, programming languages, you name it. You have traditional staging environments, with Apache servers or whatnot that need maintaining. And the result is most likely that there's a completely different team working on that, and that you will lose tons of productivity in not being able to share tools and workflows across projects. And if it's part of a larger digital experience platform, it even defines what adjacent software you need to use for things like analytics and content management, and you name it. Now, these DXPs take all that diverse functionality and package it up into large monolithic uh, digital experience platforms, these very large monolithic applications. Now, the idea of integrating all that data and events around the entire e-commerce uh, funnel was and arguably is spot on. However, it was the complete wrong technical approach. The large monoliths cannot not become bloated and ungovernable, and this approach kills iteration speeds and excessively adds time to production. Now, a while back, just to prove <laughs> a proof point of this, I sat down with the marketing department of one of the largest companies in the world. And for this case, it'll, they'll remain non-named, but they had spent recently millions on a large DXP. And they were left with a lead time between when marketing had something ready to go live and having passed all the checks and balances of 32 business days. 32 days. <laughs> like, you know... Just for some perspective, right, uh, um, how crazy that is. In 2015, in China, an entire 57-story skyscraper was erected in about half that time, 19 working days. So you really don't want to be out-hustled by a skyscraper. <laughs> but all kidding aside, so a huge benefit of going headless is really enabling your team to ship features 10 times faster. Now, another side of the increased flexibility has to do with the level of control you get when creating your solutions. So now, a challenge with e-commerce, completely in general, is that you don't have the same possibilities for creating an immersive standout customer experience as you do in a physical store. You don't have POS materials, or tactile impressions, smells, sounds, face-to-face -face attention, and all the other things that you can do in in-store. And they're all replaced with graphics on a screen. And not only that, um, there are thousands of stores just like yours, one click away. So it becomes very important to do what we can to create unique experiences for our users, right? And so the, the great thing here is that with Headless Commerce Provider being an API and focused on the transactional tooling, you can now independently create the website. 
That means that you're not bound by certain templates or checkout procedures or anything like it. And you're free to customize the customer experience to your own exact specifications. specifications. And again, all that while being able to use the modern tools, workflows, and platforms selected by your team to get the job, job done the fastest. Now, it's kind of funny to think that the benefits of headless commerce are actually mostly by what they are not, right? It's not the web presence. It's not the template engine. It's not the build system. It's not the glue code. It's not the runtime. Those pieces, uh, pieces and all the technical decisions behind them remain entirely under your control. So you can match the technology in, your, in use on your site to your team and to all the other projects you're doing. Now, another huge benefit for Headless on Jamstack is, of course, uh, and that is so incredibly vital to e-commerce, is, of course, the performance of your website. Now, I never have to sell anyone in the e-commerce space on the importance of performance, but I'll go through two quick sets of numbers anyway. Now, the first is this slide that shows the dramatic impact performance has on conversion. Now, there's really no one thing you can do that would have a greater impact on conversion and revenue than to make your site faster. 56% of customers will leave any websites that takes three seconds or more to start loading. And it's worse on mobile. And mobile now accounts for more than half of all visits. Now you combine that with the fact that the average time to first bite for legacy sites already being almost three seconds, and the average site on mobile taking 27 seconds until it's fully loaded, and it's clear that the web community most definitely has a lot of work to do on performance. But luckily, because of the flexibility from these headless uh, commerce APIs, we can now have a dramatic impact on performance by replacing this bottleneck here. The web service between your customers and the backend systems with a much more hyperdynamic approach using the Jamstack. So when you use the Jamstack, your commerce APIs connect to a build process where pages are generated and optimized in advance, then shipped to nodes all over the globe. Now, these pre-built pages load content to the screen incredibly fast because they remove all the latency of having to go on a round trip back to an origin somewhere in another country where the stages still have to be assembled before being served. Now, once loaded, dynamic functionality is added to the page from those same APIs using JavaScript in the browser or serverless functions in the cloud. So, walking through this e-commerce example here, now, you can see just how the product catalog is pre-rendered by calling the headless commerce APIs during a build step. And each update to the catalog triggers a new build, so the site is always current. That pre-rendering and global distribution is so important because, because it is the fastest way possible to get your projects and products in front of your visitors' eyeballs with consistent sub-second response times. That you can actually tell when you're browsing a headless Jamstack site because it feels really, really fast. You know, the page transitions are pretty much instantaneous as well. Now, a huge thing for, for e-commerce and, and a place where we've really grown a lot is personalization features. And they are really rapidly evolving right now. And you can now use technologies like Netlify's Edge Handlers to customize every page right as it's served. Now, in this example, introducing a promotion that's only served to California visitors. And to manage things like users' cards, we use JavaScript and serverless functions to connect back to the headless APIs and personalize the experience to every customer. So taking all these approaches and you are empowering developers to create impressively fast sites without sacrificing features. Right now, so at Netlify, I'm super lucky to have a bit of a front row seat to this ongoing revolution of e-commerce architectures, and it's a lot of fun. And one of the things I see is, is how rapidly headless commerce solutions are becoming very powerful. And that really speaks to the power of an interoperable ecosystem to fuel innovation so much faster than any single provider could. Now, you can even see from this quick map of the ecosystem where each of, of these awesome companies that are also sponsoring this event are innovating in all different aspects of the stack. Since the last time I stood here talking to you, we've all seen how the innovation is bringing 
many, many more brands onto the Jamstack and where they are in turn creating much more unique shopping experiences and where we really see how it's happening at ever larger scale as well. Now, today, we're going to hear some really cool stories from some of those brands. Preston and Alex from Manscaped will talk about bringing the brand to Jamstack and Headless. And now, Manscaped is such a, a cool and impressive story because they were able to create a really unique brand, but in a very mature market, which is men's grooming. And they are now unseating the incumbents who have owned that space for decades by selling direct to consumers in more than 30 countries. So really cool case study, can't wait to see that. And you'll also uh, hear from Complexland, who after COVID shut down their very popular live event, used Headless Commerce to build a virtual immersive 3D e-commerce enabled experience online video game. <laughs> it is really, really cool stuff. And it shows that the flexibility of headless e-commerce infrastructure really is the only way to have that much control over how your brand is expressed in such circumstances. Now, I believe that of all these changes that we've witnessed since the last summit only, the biggest one simply has to be the sheer scale of the solutions implemented. Now, since we last spoke, we've had Spring use headless commerce on the Jamstack to bring over 6 million e-commerce stores to Netlify. That's 6 million. And I'm really looking forward to hearing Rick and Paras speak about that later today. Um, it's a fantastic, it is a fantastic case study, and, and the performance impacts are just out of this world. But it also really shows uh, this and, and similar cases just how ready we are. And we are ready, all of us. Netlify, the Jamstack, the many headless e-commerce providers. Today, even the largest of commerce projects simply has to start headless in their consideration for how to build it out. Now, I'm so happy and thankful to be here today with all of you. Uh, I'm looking so much forward to all the talks and the discussions and to just honestly nerd out with a lot of, of, of passionate people about how to make better workflows and, 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 and commerce sites, uh, for commerce sites and, and apps. What a really cool and historic time and transition to be part of. So thank you so very much for coming and let's get into the content. I'll see you all in the chat. And later in the discussion lounges with sponsorship partners, there are some really nifty solutions being offered right now in the ecosystem um, for your next e-commerce project. So definitely hope to see you in there. Can't uh, wait to participate in those talks. And until then, please enjoy the event. And thanks again. Bye. <laughs>